Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Wow, great story there by Chris Pallone. Interesting. Yeah, really interesting. They were talking about that on the Today Show this morning, and they had some animation that was just incredible. I mean, NBC has had it all day long. It's, it's just wild. Hey, we've got a great weekend coming up here. Very fired up I about this. I love to hear that. Yeah, we're going to see a ton of sunshine, and it's going to be unseasonably warm around here. Temperatures getting into the 80s, which is certainly out of the ordinary. Normally, this time of year, it'd be topping out in the low 70s, something like that. Hey, we're looking over Burlington. We've got Lake Champlain out there and we have got a thermometer reading a bunch out at the airport in Burlington where it is 81. We've got a north wind at just six right now and the wind is going to be light tonight and it's going to be light over most of the weekend. So the planner as we head into the nighttime 78 degrees or so figure at six o'clock tonight and then temperatures drawing back a little bit. Low temperatures in the low 60s late tonight into the beginning of tomorrow and I think some of us finding some areas of dense patchy fog once again saw a bunch of that out there this morning so get set for that really late tonight into the beginning of tomorrow first alert storm tracker hey we've got some action on this thing check it out mainly at the higher elevations down the spine of the green mountains it's been a little busier than places at the uh, lower elevations for sure but we're finding that down in parts of bennington county and also windham county Continuing to move to the south and off to the west, not expecting this to last all that much longer. Sun going down pretty early these days. It gets dark, we lose the daytime heating, and we're gonna lose this stuff. But look at just the dots here and there, just a couple of rain showers here and there. So we'll widen out a little bit, and you can see we've got a ridge of high pressure because what's left from Irma is finally gonna leave. That's still what's happening with some of the rain out there. Hey, uh, speaking of tropical systems, we have Hurricane Jose to look at. I know it was back to a tropical storm. It is a hurricane now, winds at 75 miles an hour. It's moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. I've had a few people say, well, will it affect us? Let me show you the track from the National Hurricane Center. This is gonna make its way toward the lower 48, and it is gonna hang a right. There's no doubt about it. The surf is gonna be high right along the mid-Atlantic coast here, but as we get into southern New England, this could be interesting by, say, Tuesday and Wednesday tomorrow because the forecast track brings it fairly close to Nantucket, Cape Cod as well, and if this does kind of pan out this way, they're going to have some real problems there. They're going to have some coastal flooding. There's going to be a bunch of erosion and rain in addition to that. Right now, it looks like the long-range models want to keep us dry with high pressure and control kind of holding this away. That may change. So, of course, we'll continue to watch that for you. Let's check out Futurecast. The weekend is here. We will take you right through the overnight. A couple of clouds, maybe some fog as we get you into the beginning of tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to find a lot of sunshine around here. It ought to be a dry day. Tomorrow night looks just fine. Here comes the second half of your weekend. Looking good again with a lot of sunshine. Hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy. Partly cloudy, some patchy fog late tonight. All right, 62 degrees. We do have a few showers, mainly in southern Vermont, expecting those to wind down. So for tomorrow, we're looking at what becomes a mostly sunny sky. How about 81 in Plattsburgh? Ticonderoga, 83 degrees. Same thing in Messina, not too shabby. We're looking at a great day in Burlington where we'll see a lot of sunshine. 83 degrees, Woodsville at 82, St. J 82. We'll continue on down to the south. How about Bellows Falls at 84, Rutland topping out at 81 degrees. Five day forecast, this is great for, well, a September weekend, 83. Talked about that tomorrow, 84 degrees on Sunday. By the way, the record high Sunday is 86. We're going to be close to that. We continue with this Monday, a lot of sunshine, 82. Tuesday, maybe some clouds later in the day because of Jose. We're watching that for you. And Wednesday, we're thinking at least some clouds around here. And again, uh, we'll keep an eye on this. But this should clear out, uh, meaning any clouds from that system, Thursday, Friday. It's going to be cooler then, but still, the end of the seven-day, you guys, looking good.